What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock kelp farm. This farm works on 0.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. This farm can be used to get a lot of kelp. Kelp can be smelted to create dried kelp. Dried kelp can be used as food or used to make dried kelp blocks. Dried kelp blocks can be a great source of fuel for furnaces, blast furnaces, or smokers. For this farm, all you'll need is 16 kelp, 34 glass blocks, 2 water buckets, 8 pistons, 8 redstone, 8 observers, 2 chests, 1 hopper, 1 minecart hopper, 2 rails, 1 sign, 22 slabs, and finally about a stack and a half of solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks include cobblestone or wood planks. The first step is to place down 10 solid blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After you have done that, place two solid blocks over here. Now fill in that outline with solid blocks. After you have done that, place 10 solid blocks over here. Now place 8 pistons over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Make sure all those pistons are facing this way. The pistons will harvest the kelp in this farm. The next step is to go behind the farm. Now place an observer on top of each piston. Whenever you place an observer, make sure the top arrow of it is facing this way. After you're done placing the observers, check the front. The faces of the observers should be facing this way. The observers will detect whenever a cup grows to that height. Now place a solid block behind each piston. After you've done that, place 8 redstone over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The next step is to place 3 solid blocks over here. Now place 4 solid blocks over here, then place 1 at this spot, then crouch down and place 2 chests over here. After you have made that double chest, go to this side. Now crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. Make sure the nozzle of the hopper is facing that chest. As you guys can see here, the nozzle of the hopper should be facing that way. The next step is to break this block. Now place another block over here, then place a sign at this spot. After you have placed that sign, place two rails over here, then place a minecart with hopper over here. Now push it this way. The minecart with hopper should go on top of the hopper. Once the minecart with hopper is on the hopper, break these two rails, then break this block. Now place a solid block over here. That will be the collection system of this kelp farm. How it works is the minecart with hopper will pick up kelp. The kelp will then get sent down into that hopper. The hopper will then send the kelp into that collections chest. By the way, it's okay if you accidentally move the minecart with hopper so that it is like this. The next step is to place 8 solid blocks over here, then place 3 over here, then place 4 blocks over here, and 4 over here as well. The next step is to place 8 glass blocks over here, then place 3 over here. Now fill in that outline with glass blocks. By creating that front wall out of glass blocks, you will be able to see the kelp. The next step is to create an infinite water source. To do that, place blocks in this formation. Then place two water over here. By creating that infinite water source, you will be able to use two buckets to fill in all the water in this farm. The next step is to place water at each of these spots. After you are done placing that water, place a slab at each of these spots. By doing this, you will be able to place water that flows over to the minecart with hopper. The next step is to place water over here. That water should flow to the minecart with hopper. Now break all the slabs. Now place water at each observer. At this point fill in and break the infinite water source. You will no longer need to place more water in this farm. The next step is to crouch down and place two glass blocks over here. If you are unable to place glass blocks, try pushing the minecart hopper a little more that way. Just make sure it is still over the hopper. Now place a slab at each of these spots. Once you are done placing the slabs, place two kelp at each of these spots. By doing this, you will be able to turn that area into water source blocks. By having that area be water source blocks, kelp will be able to float up to the top stream whenever it gets harvested. The next step is to break the kelp in front of each piston. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you have made this farm correctly. Over here, you guys should have the kelp, the pistons, and the observers. Over here, there should be the top water that flows towards that minecart with hopper. This side should have the collection system. The back should have this back redstone. Finally, this side of the farm should look like this. 
How this farm works is, whenever a kelp grows to be three blocks tall, an observer will detect that, then send a redstone signal to all the pistons. That will cause the pistons to extend or attract. That will cause any kelp that has grown to get harvested. The kelp will then eventually float up to the top water stream. It will then get pushed into that collection system. Kelp will get collected by the minecart hopper, then funneled into that hopper. The hopper will then send the kelp into that chest. By the way, if you had an issue with kelp getting collected in my previous automatic kelp farm, I recommend you make this automatic kelp farm instead. This collection system should help solve that problem. I am now going to show you all how to use this kelp farm. To use it, all you need to do is wait. Over time, kelp will grow and get harvested. It will then get funneled into the collection's chest. However, if kelp does not appear to be floating up for you, just wait, it should eventually float up. When you want to collect the kelp, you can open this chest. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple automatic Minecraft bear rock kelp farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.